What's up guys, Nikita from AspectAgency.com and today I have a very special interview for you guys. I'm sitting down and talking with JK Molina who has 128,000 followers on Twitter, has co-founded and grown Tweet Hunter to above 120K a month in revenue and runs a 50K a month coaching business. So this one is going to be huge if you're into Twitter growth and looking to grow your Twitter exponentially. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the interview. What's going on, JK? Glad to have you on board again. Hi, man. Good to see you. Likewise, man. How's your uh, How's your day been? All good. Just got a Just got a pump at the gym. Just drinking <laughs> coffee, although I should not because it's late. But I'm on a podcast. <laughs> awesome, man. So your main specialty is doing Twitter growth, right? Gotcha. Yeah, you have about you're closing in on 130k followers. It's been a while, man. It's been a while. Two years. Uh, been switching along many niches as I go, but I feel like I finally found one that I'm comfortable with. I'm just rolling with it now. Yeah, I know I I found you through just like mutual followings like way back in the day. And I knew like you were one of the co-founders of like Tweet Hunter and, and you're working on that project. So I've been following you along and then decided to work together with you on helping my Twitter growth <laughs> out as well. So like, did you start off with Twitter growth or like, how did you even like get into the space? Yeah, man. So I've been all over the place, like starting out, I just kind of downloaded Twitter beginning of 2020 when everything like closed down. And I saw a lot of people making like great money to like 100K a month, 250K a month. And I just wanted to look what it was about, to see what it was about. And just found this like money Twitter thing, so to speak. And like, if you're not familiar with it, it's like Twitter is basically a place where a lot of people just come in and they just tweet a shit ton of value. They just like for free for some yeah. reason. And you can like make great connections. So I just started doing it, man. Like uh, I saw that you can make good money on it. I started doing it a lot. And then I just saw that ghostwriting was a thing, like writing for other people's accounts. And that kind of how I got introduced to client work. Like, oh, okay, so this is how it works. Like you can sell high ticket and you just can get clients and it's relatively simple. So now after doing a lot of things, ghostwriting and then just audience building and just kind of writing coaching, I was like, okay, I'm going to show people how I used to run my agency and how I used to get clients. So that's kind of where I'm at right now, showing other people how to land clients. Nice. Nice. And I know somewhere along the way you started working on that SaaS project. Sir. So that was, that was actually a cool thing that happened. I didn't plan that at all, but it was, I want to say me. May 2021, uh, I was ghostwriting for other people. And then these two guys, these French guys, Tivo and Toma, they approached me with this tool, right? It's this software that allows you to schedule tweets and just grow your audience that way. And I really liked it because it was kind of the way I write, which is like copying other people, <laughs> essentially. So I liked, I really liked it. So I had the audience, right? I had like, 30, 40,000 followers at the time. And, but I didn't have a product. These guys had a product, but they didn't have an audience. So it just made uh, sense. It's kind of, well, your audience will like this. It's kind of like Chase Diamond. I'm assuming people in your audience know Chase Diamond. So he partners up with uh, some, I've seen him partner up with a few companies. Not sure like what the deal structure is, but <clears throat> Chase is the audience guy and they, come up with products that already work and he just amplifies them. So it's like a mutually beneficial connection. So that's what I did with Tweet Hunter. And so far it's going great, man. We're at 120,000 uh, MRR now. So it's just growing. That's fucking sick, man. Yeah, I know that like that's the best kind of partnerships is like when one person has the exact same thing that you want, but like they're missing the one thing that you actually have. So it's like very mutually beneficial and it, it works out in everyone's favor. And I've seen like Chase Diamond promote like Octane, which is like a quiz platform. So like that's where that audience like con interconnectedness makes sense. And like like the product placement actually is like going to be beneficial to your audience. Otherwise, like if you're pushing like Fit T or some shit like that, it's it's not going to work out in the long run for sure. Yeah. And that's why a lot of e-com people I've seen. I'm trying to like relate this to e-com, but I've yeah, seen a lot course. of people like uh, they just... I don't want to say higher, but they partner up with this huge TikTok. 
don't want to say girls because there's also dudes, but usually TikTok girls, and they just push their products out. I've seen like TikTok to be huge for e-commerce in that sense. Yeah, no, I have a lot of friends that are like TikTok agency owners. So they what they do is they basically like have like engagement like deals or like influencer deals with um with those like TikTok chicks and they basically like it depends on the product like i think for the most part they keep it contextual but sometimes there's like those one-offs where like why would we even promote this like this does this is just going to lose money on the on the sponsorship so the but going back to twitter like the one thing i've i've loved about the platform is like the amount of opportunities that you get from like being on twitter especially like if you're a business owner um whether it's like a SaaS owner or you have an agency or you have your own e-com store like I follow a lot of people in D2C and a lot of them have like they have their own stores, like whether they're like the CEOs of their own stores and they tweet about their growth. Like I know Patrick could do is like the CEO of supply, like the razors. And he t- tweeted about his growth and that's helped like build a community around him of like people in the Facebook ads niche, like helping him out with his Facebook ads or people like in my niche with email marketing, helping him out with email marketing. So I know that there's a lot of opportunity when it comes to like sharing, like even if it's not like you giving away like free mat, free value, like money Twitter stuff, but it the the, like the the opportunity of connecting is huge on the platform. Yeah, that's that's what I've seen. I don't know much about D to C Twitter and Ecom Twitter, but from what I've seen, there's some like heavy heavy hitters on Twitter that do D to C, like a fit guy you mentioned, like uh, Gonzalez, Michael Gonzalez. Yeah, like the guy's like, isn't he like a celebrity in the DTC space? I don't know. I follow him, and I know he follows me, but I'm not exactly sure where. Like, I I guess I don't see him on my feed enough. But I, I know like his brand took off, like it was had a huge growth because of like the Fit T niche, and like he's associated himself with so many celebrities. So I think he's like uh, a second, like a byproduct of that. But I don't know if too many people know him as the Fit T guy. I didn't know him until he followed me, and I just checked out his profile. Mm, okay got it <clears throat> well yeah. still like there's a lot of good people on it like the way i the one thing i really like is so what i do and you know this i scrape people's followings and i just go over some bios because i'm looking for people to outreach to yeah so some occasionally i'll just control f eight fig or nine fig so just by pressing enter you're finding like nine figure entrepreneur eight figure entrepreneur and a lot of them run e-com stores so i'm thinking like man if you're if you're an e-com like it just makes complete sense like some of the biggest people in your space are here so why not try it you know exactly plus it's like i know there's like a whole like twitter meme going on of like why go why go to like a, get a master's degree when you can just do like twitter master's degree or, or whatever like you just read like read these 10 threads and <laughs> you'll learn more than you would at like a bachelor's degree or something like that but like there's just genuinely a lot of high signal on the platform obviously you have to follow the right people you have to mute some accounts or mute some words and um get the spammy bs out in the first couple of weeks but once you're there like there's so like that's where i think a lot of the bleeding edge like ideation goes on where like someone puts up like hey hey i did this facebook ad test and this is what the results i found and then like for me it's like boom i got like a new email angle that i can try out with my clients so yeah. like for all the e-com stores or like D2C store owners or marketing managers, like it's, that's the place to be. Um, but I wanted to ask you like, how would, like if, if someone was to, like if they are like a marketing manager or a D2C manager, or let, just say a, a general business owner, like how would they, how should they start out their Twitter account? Yeah. So one, one thing that I wanted to point out is something you told me the other day at, at the, at the group, you said somebody reached out and he didn't interact with you before, but he was like, Yo, Nikita, I wouldn't have reached out if I wouldn't have seen you posting so much all the time. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So it's uh, tying to what you said about how do you actually grow? Well, one thing I tell everyone is like saying cash. That's just a, a term that I really like because it's not. And sometimes the people who engage with you are rarely the people that buy from you. It's very rare that they're the same person. So you're going to start tweeting. and I'm going to show you in a bit how to do that. but if you don't get enough engagement, you might think that people are not seeing it. When in reality, they are seeing it. You just don't see them. Make sense? Like, like the guy wouldn't have reached out if it wasn't for you always posting this stuff. So 
before I even ex like start showing how to grow on Twitter, just know that on Twitter there's like a big conversion window. So you said you followed me like way back, right? You only bought from me recently, yep. right? You had, we had to spend all those months building the trust. So I tell people on Twitter, nothing happens for the longest time, and then you win all at once, because that is realistically how it goes. But how do you grow? Uh, so there's a few things, right? There's like paid and, and free. So if you want to grow, also known as, you know, make money to lend clients, because likes in cash, right? There's a few things. There's two things you can take care of. One is your offer. Like you need to make your offer good for people to say yes. So that's standard. But you also need traffic. You need people to see it. Now, the problem is if you're just beginning, you don't have traffic because your account's small. So you need to find a way to get that traffic. There's free and paid ways to do that. The free way is thinking who has the audience that I would like to have, finding them on Twitter, finding those people and engaging with them. So uh, just commenting maybe like 10, 15 minutes a day. Because when people see a good tweet on, on Twitter, <laughs> What they do is they do the same thing they do on YouTube, which is they just click on it and they check the comments. Kind of the same thing happens. So if you are if you said something smart, people will start liking it. You'll be at the top. So you're using their audience as, you know, as a mechanism to put you, like you're using their audience in your favor. That's a free way. Uh, slow, it works. That's what I did. It's slow, but it works. The um, other- you if I jump yeah, into that one real quick? Yeah. So, I mean, like from my personal experience, like I noticed like before we even started working together, I was doing that. I was, <clears throat> I was engaging with, I went with the free method first. So I was with, engaging with people on a consistent basis. Um, and I think just seeing your face pop up consistently. And one thing, like also people like just change up their profile photo, like don't change your profile photo for the longest time. Cause like, that's what people scan through. Um, it is like, as I was consistently posting on people that like, like 10 or like 20 top accounts, like I would start to get followers trickle in because they keep seeing my face and they keep seeing like, oh, this guy's putting out good content. And then I also had my offer in the bio. So that made them like, oh, I want to learn more about email marketing. Let me follow this dude. So like that helps a lot. And funny enough, like that sort of scales up as you grow your account. So like, for example, recently, um, I didn't share it in the channel or anything like that, but I'm starting to notice like at least like 25 to like 35 followers come in daily, like almost passively at this point. And I think that's just gotten to a point where like people have seen my face so much at this point and I have so much social proof based off of like other high accounts following me that they just automatically like, it's a no brainer. Yeah. Why are you not posting that on the wins channel, bro? Come on, <laughs> you gotta put that. I need to use your testimonials for <laughs> to sell more people, bro. Exactly. I'll throw it in there. Yeah, nah, I'm just messing with you. But there's the, that's a free way, right? And then there's the, uh, there's the, well, there's another free one, which is actually very effective. So when you're first starting out, you don't, obviously you want followers and that will come over time, right? That will happen. But I'm a big advocate of just land clients early on, and then you're going to make money with that money. With money comes detachment, with detachment comes good decision-making. So a good, uh, like a common theme that happens is people get desperate for likes and engagement. So they end up tweeting platitude account or platitude stuff or quotes. And what that signals is kind of some level of neediness. And that neediness drives the really high value people away from you. Because they're like, oh, this guy's just regurgitating what everybody does. So I'm a big advocate of just make the cash first. And in the beginning, the way you do that is you just DM more people. I tweeted the other day, my main lesson from two and a half years on Twitter is just simply DM more people because there's like so much that could happen from. It. So I actually make make a point and I have it on my calendar to every day, 30 minutes, DM 10 new people or more or respond to my DMs because you'd never know what might happen. So that's the other free way. And I still do that even after two and a half years in the platform. I think everybody should do that. So uh, paid. Now, paid is two ways. One is Twitter ads, which works fairly good. Like you could use Twitter ads, it's good. I'm banned, so that sucks. So am I at this point. Yeah, yeah so be careful with Twitter, uh, Twitter ads. Just don't make like huge promises, that happens. But the other way, which is I my preferred way, and the one I use for my ghostwriting clients and I advocate people do, 
carefully is retweets. So let me explain to you. Let's say you tweeted something and Nikita retweeted you. What that does is Nikita is giving you permission to take his the audience that took him months to build for a day. So you can borrow his audience for a day. That's what happens when he retweets you. So it's D2C guys, econ founders, agency owners, quite high quality people. So like a retweet is a kind of a big commitment from the guy retweeting it. And there's a lot of people selling them, people with huge accounts. And what you can do is just engage with them for a little bit and ask them, yo, like, do you sell? And if you pair up a good piece of content with the right retweets, that's when you, and you experience this, that's when you get the thousand follower days. That's when you get the 10 book calls on a day. That's when you get like the real good stuff, even though you're a small account. So several ways to grow. I do think you should start with the free ones, engaging, sending more DMs. And then when you understand and really think like, okay, Twitter is worth it because you, you, it's worth it, but you don't really know until you actually try it. And you're like, oh, wow, I can DM anyone. I can connect with anyone. So when you actually sell yourself on the value of it, that's when I would start buying retweets. You combine all those and then you stick for it for like a few months or a year and really cool stuff starts to happen. Yeah. 100%. Like I, I did the free method first, mainly because I wanted to like try out the platform and it was just perfect timing that you had your offer up and I'm like, all right, let me try this out. But the, the free method just helps you sort of understand like, because I never used Twitter before. I was just like lurking, scrolling through it, like occasionally, like maybe once a week, but never too extensively. So I just doing it daily helped me figure out the platform and like see how actually everything works. And then it's like added fuel to the fire and also, I guess, putting out really quality content just helped skyrocket my account. So like that was huge. Plus at the same time, like the amount of opportunities, like, like, yes, you have the tangibles, number one, where like, yeah, you get the clients in or you get the sales in, or like you start to sign up more subscription to your SaaS, whatever it is, like those are huge. But at the same time, like the intangible opportunities you have are absolutely insane. Like, like you, like there's always like that quote of like your network is like your net worth. And like, Twitter basically opens the door to network with anybody in the world, like everywhere. So like, for example, like I'm talking to like a D to C owner, that's like an eight figure store. Like that's a, that's a huge amount of money. And like, we're not even thinking about, we're not even talking about business, but at the same time, having someone in your network like that is absolutely huge. So like next time I'm in New York, I'll hit them up. Like, Hey, do you want to grab a dinner? Like, as yeah. you know, like, I'm moving to Nashville. I put up a post saying like, Hey, I'm moving to Nashville. Anybody want to grab dinner? And I had like three people already like, like DM me saying like, yeah, let's do it. Like, Hey, dinner's on me. Let's I'll, I want to connect you with my friends. And these are people that are also high places too. Yeah. And like, for example, you and I connected, right? We didn't know each other three months ago. So yeah. we recorded this and then I'm going to post it. And I don't say this to brag in any way. Right. But when I posted over a hundred thousand people who followed me, will know Nikita Bakrushev. And then what's the chance that over a few years, that'll be like a lot of money to you? That's a very high chance. Just because one, you only need one. I always tell people, you're one piece of content away from all the connections you want. You're one DM away from the connections you want. And the cool thing about Twitter is it doesn't penalize you for consistent posting like TikTok or I, don't, I think TikTok doesn't either, but Instagram or YouTube do, I think so. But anyway, it's like it's like having a target and you need to hit that target, but you have unlimited ammo. That's what Twitter feels like. You can try as many times as you want and you only have to be right once. So I guess we're right this time, right? So now I know a lot of people in the agency space follow you. I'm looking for agency guys. That's who my offer is tailored to. A lot of people in the e-com space follow me on source. That's who you're looking for. So this is mutually beneficial and the chances that it'll pay off, it's 30 minutes of recording, dude, or like an hour of recording. It's huge. This wouldn't have happened if it weren't for Twitter. A good example of this, I like from Matthew Kovac. He tweeted once, uh, LinkedIn is the networking platform. Twitter is the bar after the, the networking event where you actually network. That's what he said. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Because it's just great. Yeah, you don't have that same uptightness that you have to keep up on LinkedIn where it's just business, 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 and then like some random engagement bullshit that just happens to be on your feed. Um, with Twitter, it's like 
yeah, just like everyone's shooting the shit. The comments are just like people broing down, uh, making friendships and, and connections. So it's it's a lot of fun. So I guess with with that being said, like if you were to summarize it, like what would be like the three like highest leverage action the actions that I guess like businesses can take on Twitter or like do on Twitter? Yeah. Number one is you need to craft an offer that's easy to say yes to. Uh, and an offer can't just be web design or cold email or email marketing. It has to be a, something that makes it easy for people to yes to. Recommendation, $100 million offers by Alex Mosey. Shout out, super great book. So craft an offer, number one. Two is prove that you're good at something often. and your engagement, and you know this, and I know this, your engagement on those tweets, it's going to be horrible. Nobody's going to like it, and it's just not going to go anywhere. But the people are seeing it. They're seeing that you're good at something. So that's the second one. And the third one is just get more traffic in any way you can. Engage, send more DMs, buy retweets, run Twitter ads. You do those three over a long enough period of time, it's too hard to lose. Like It's, it's, it's too hard exactly like the traffic one was huge for me like i had a good offer like everything was done on the back end but i and i had good content before i even joined your program and then like the traffic was the big one and that's why i was like this is a no-brainer for me to sign up because like once i had like if i have eyeballs going to this content like there's no way i'm gonna lose at this and there's no way i'm not i'm not gonna make my money back and i ended up making my money back of course but like <laughs> I'm just saying like it's that and then some and all the opportunities that come along the way it's just like it's nuts and it's like it feels really good so <laughs> but, momentum, like building like what's the, what's the chance dude because we got followers that not you got followers now that might not buy from you until two years but when they buy they will buy and they'll buy a lot so it just feels right that you're getting the momentum building. It's just some, for me, it feels like I'm doing what I know I should be doing, which is taking care of the long-term game. So I, that, that's why I like it so much. It just feels aligned. Yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, at this point it's getting so hard, not hard, but like, I guess what I'm trying to say is like, I'm starting to cut out cold email as a channel because of how powerful the content has been. Um, and like how many qualified leads I've been getting in from Twitter and from YouTube. Like I'm getting more leads from content than cold email and I'm sending out like 200 emails a day. So it's like, is there even a, a reason for me to continue doing this thing? That's like getting me like lower quality leads or leads that are like not interested, but like they're interested, but they're not interested rather than the ones that like have already built up trust with me, have been following me for X amount of time and are a perfect fit already. Like, you know, like it's even also like the quality of leads that come in or like the quality of people that you've, you network with it is just much higher than anything else that I've seen so far. Yeah. Not only that, but if you were to do cold outreach then, or you were to do outreach in the future, it gets easier because it's different when some dude that you don't know about DMs you than when Nikita with 10,000 followers on Twitter that he built around email marketing that you can check his profile at is like, oh, well, this guy's probably legit. He built all this machine. So I call it the, when you're an influencer, they let you do it. <laughs> Just That's point. a good one. Yeah. yeah, for sure. But anything else you want to bring up before we sign off? Uh, well, that's it. If you guys have any questions, you can contact me at 1JK Molina on Twitter. And yeah, follow Nikita for email marketing tips. He's awesome. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, Twitter is where it's at. Um, but yeah, aside from Twitter, is there anywhere else people can find you? That's the main one, add one JK Molina. If you're an agency owner, you want to scale to $200,000 a month, go to tweetingclients.com. Uh, and yeah, that is it. Perfect. Well, thanks guys for listening and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks again for watching. And if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so that you're caught up on all, all the latest email and marketing training. If you liked the video, hit the like button and drop a comment on what your favorite part of the video was. And if you're a D2C or an e-commerce brand with an email list of at least 10,000 subscribers, make sure to click the link below the video and book a call with me and my team. We work with all kinds of e-com and D2C brands and help them scale their email revenue by at least 30% month over month. So click the link below, we'll hop on a call, look over your account, compile a strategy, and create a plan of action on how to raise your email revenue. 
After the call, you'll have the option to use the strategy yourself with your own team, or you can choose to work with us. All up to you. It's completely free, no obligation, so click the link below, book in the call, and if you have a list size smaller than 10,000, keep watching the videos and you'll get a lot of value and learn how to increase your list size as well as generate more revenue from email for your store. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.